Hey guys, Christy here from Nacilla Life and a HoneyBook Pro and welcome back to our channel. We talk so much about HoneyBook on our channel so if you're just diving in, we have so many incredible videos that really guide you through getting started with HoneyBook and what HoneyBook even really does. But if you're at the point where you have your account set up or maybe you're really getting there and you're wondering how to stop it from getting cluttered, then this video is for you. I'm gonna go through a few simple but effective tips on how to keep your HoneyBook clutter free and keep it managed really well. So with that, let's dive in. So here we are in my HoneyBook account. This is the home screen. And so I want to give you a tour of what's going on here, what things mean, um, and uh, what are really action items here. And then I want to go through some steps and tips on how to maintain your HoneyBook account once you've done that initial sweep and build out to where just like a house, right? You can do an entire organization, spring cleaning, whatever it is, but unless you weekly, daily, monthly maintain your house, it's going to build up that clutter again. So the goal is we want HoneyBook to be making you feel more organized, more in control. We don't want it to start piling up and you feeling overwhelmed by all the notifications and things sitting in here. Okay, so with that, let's dive in. So we have the home screen. In this project window on the left, you're gonna see any new inquiries, and then you're also gonna see any projects with new activity. So these are blurred out for sensitive client information, but what those would show there are, you have a new message in this project. There's a contract that's been signed in this project, it's time to countersign. Um, a payment has been made, right? So once you go ahead and click into those and then countersign the contract, read the email, whatever it is, this number will start going down. So each day you kind of want to come in here, see what's going on, click into those, take care of what has to be done. The same thing in your notifications. Those messages and a couple more as well will be in there saying you have a new payment, someone responded, someone viewed a brochure, etc. There are a couple different places daily you want to make sure you're checking in. On this home page, checking this project activity and your task section, which we'll get into next, and then in your notifications, just getting a pulse check on what's going on and do you need to tend to anything, uh, making sure you're staying on top of those notifications. Now a note here too, I say daily, but I personally work Monday to Friday. And so I'm only checking these tasks Monday to Friday. Don't feel like if you don't want to work weekends or maybe you have a three day work week that you have to be coming in here every single day. If something's overdue, it's going to let you know, nothing is typically going to be super urgent if that's not how your business runs. Okay, so now let's talk about the task section. When you click into here, I'm actually going to open up the next tab. So now we're in your task section. So whether you're adding a task manually in here, just as a reminder, whether you're doing it inside of a client portal or these are triggering from automations, this is what you wanna make sure you're really staying on top of because HoneyBook's gonna be telling you, hey, this is what needs to be done, right? So you could see some examples here where um, we have an onboarding email that's overdue. We have a custom HoneyBook build brochure because this is a new inquiry that has to get sent out. And we have these as approved before sending because I like to actually view the contact form, put a personal note in there, um, give them our next available start date, things like that. We have some tasks like, hey, do a final check-in. Hey, approve the follow-up number two for this project if it applies, right? And so as you're going through here, the goal here is that you take about five to 10 minutes per day to go through these leads, approve follow-up emails, check in on clients, send out brochures, do the onboarding process for a new client, right? And that this is actually triggering through automations, which we have so many other videos about automations on our channel where you can get more details on that. But really you wanna make sure you're staying on top of this, not having many, if at all, overdue tasks. So from there, you can also click go to project, and this is going to bring you into that project, right? So if this person had just inquired, I'd be able to see their contact form responses. If this was a follow-up, right, maybe it was follow-up number two, and I had to check in here to see if I, they had responded, right? I don't want to be approving a follow-up if they were like, 
hey, let's move forward. They sign the contract or they're like, hey, I'm, I went in a different direction. So here's where you'll come into here. You'll be able to see any information back and forth. And then you can do this in the project itself or you can do it in the task section where you're saying, okay, I'm gonna insert a personal message here, update my next availability, et cetera. Um, so that is a little bit more about tasks, maintaining those. The next thing I wanna go through is your pipeline, right? So at least once a week, you wanna go through your pipeline. So tasks, I would say, are a daily thing in your home screen. At least once a week, just go glance through your pipeline and see if there are any stale leads that have to be archived. If there's anyone sitting in inquiry that you haven't responded to, maybe someone moved from implementation to the support phase. So sometimes, I mean, we like to set up for our clients and tell our students that in the automations, you want to make sure you're creating tasks that tell you what the next step is to move them to the next stage. But of course, sometimes things slip through the cracks. So just taking a quick glance once per week and saying, you know what, I'm going to move John Smith into this stage moving and then move them just allows you to keep your pipeline up to date. So you're getting that real time data of how many leads you have, how many people you have to follow up with, how many upcoming discovery calls you have, et cetera. So once a week, go through your pipeline. Now let's talk about yearly maintenance. So beyond those things of just that daily and weekly maintenance, making sure your account isn't getting cluttered, you also at least yearly, maybe bi-yearly or quarterly, want to get a pulse check on your account, meaning that you want to take a look at all your schedulers, right? Are all of these up to date with your current availability? You know, I had a moment recently where I was like, you know what? I have too many schedulers. I'm actually going to pare them down instead of having a 90 minute kickoff call and a 90 minute strategy session. I'm just going to rename them to be a 90 minute call, a 60 minute call, right? Just making sure there's less to manage, less to edit. So take a look through your schedulers see if your availability matches. Are these all accurate? Do you want to get rid of any, merge any, et cetera? And then lastly, you want to take a look at your templates. Is everything up to date? Do you have to update your pricing? Do you have to update your um, services, your branding, anything like that? Do you have any old files that maybe you want to revamp? Um, for example, we used to have a four page brochure. The first page is like about us. The next page was the process. Then we had the different packages, etc. And then we were like, you know what? Let's just merge everything into one page, digestible information. People typically have a shorter ten attention span. And so those are things that at least once a year, you want to just sit down and ask yourself and evaluate. This isn't supposed to be a 10 hour project. It's really something that once your account is set up, that you're just able to make small tweaks and feel like things are up to date instead of letting them drag on. And it's three years from now and you're like, oh gosh, I have to update my brochure, right? Maybe you're a photographer and you want to update your brochure with your most recent photos because your editing style has changed a little bit, right? Maybe you went through a rebrand and you have to edit your smart files. So take a look through your folders. Are there folders you can condense? Are there templates that you want to edit? Um, and even if you don't want to delete templates, like you still want to have access to them, feel free to make a folder called old and move them all into there, right? There may be ones that are duplicates or test ones that you can just delete. But if there are things that you want to save for whatever reason, feel free to make a space for them so they're not just floating around in your other templates. And then actually the last thing I did want to say is take a look at your active automations and see if you have to make any updates, right? Are there any updates that have to be made to your existing process? Is there Are there automations that no longer apply because you don't offer that service anymore? Um, really take a deep dive into your client journey and say, are there any tweaks that have to be made? Now, we also go through automations, mapping out your client journey, showing you through our workflow mapping spreadsheet in our HoneyBook course. Um, and we also have some other 
uh, videos on our channel going through automating your client journey, you know, automations in HoneyBook. So that's where we could really deep dive into what does that even mean? But if you are familiar with automations, you do have automation set up and running again, once a year, at least you want to make sure you're taking a look into these automations and deciding, is there anything that has to be shifted and changed? So just to recap daily, you are going to want to make sure that you are checking in on your tasks, your notifications and your project activity. Once a week, you're going to want to make sure you're going through your project pipeline and making sure everyone's in the right stage, archiving stale leads if needed. And then yearly, bi-yearly, quarterly, at least at these milestone moments, you want to make sure that you are checking in on your smart files, making sure you don't need to do any updates, making sure that your schedulers are up to date. Are there any cleanup that has to happen there? And then also checking in on your automations and your client journey and seeing if there's anything that needs to be revamped. So I hope this video is helpful for you and just giving you some basic tips on how to keep your HoneyBook organized and clutter free. If this video is helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you're wanting more step-by-step -step tutorials on HoneyBook, let's talk about like 50 plus, feel free to check out our system school HoneyBook course. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. Again, thank you so much for being here and supporting our channel, watching our videos. I appreciate every single one of you. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.